Hello there, my amazing people. Today we're delving into a song that's not just a chart topper, but a cultural phenomenon. From its infectious beat to its powerful lyrics, this track has captivated audiences worldwide. But what lies beneath the surface of this catchy anthem? Prepare to be transported into the heart of a musical masterpiece, where destiny meets rhythm and fate intertwines with melody. Join me as we embark on a dramatic exploration of gratitude, destiny, and the enigmatic concept of fate in a track that has shaken the very foundations of modern music. Get ready to unravel the layers of this cultural phenomenon as we delve into the spiritual and philosophical undercurrents of God's plan. God's plan by Drake is more than just a chart-topping hit. It's a reflection of his journey in the music industry, which he attributes to a divine plan. Released as part of the Scary Hours EP in January 2018, the song quickly rose to the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Through its lyrics, Drizzy acknowledges the presence of haters and those wishing for his downfall, but credits his resilience to the Almighty. The song conveys a message of gratitude and resilience despite the struggles faced, emphasizing the importance of staying positive in the face of adversity. He shares his story of overcoming obstacles and achieving success, expressing thanks to God, loved ones and family for their support. Ultimately, it serves as a reminder of the blessings received and the strength gained through hardships, inspiring listeners to embrace positivity and appreciate the journey toward prosperity. The intro sets the stage with a repetitive chant, emphasizing the wishes of industry rivals who desire his downfall. Through the repetition of They Wish, Drizzy highlights the persistence of those who oppose him in the music industry. This sentiment reflects the conflicts he has encountered with artists like Chris Brown, Meek Mill, Joe Budden, and even Eminem at one point. In the first verse, he reflects on his desire for a peaceful existence amidst the challenges he faces. He emphasizes his preference for maintaining tranquility and avoiding conflict, acknowledging the struggle it poses for him. He humorously dismisses the idea of early morning visits for affection, indicating his preference for personal space. Despite his desire for peace, he acknowledges the reality of his fame and the wishes of others for his downfall. He expresses hope for his legacy to be remembered positively by those close to him, recognizing that his experiences and impact will be unique. The verse also delves into Drizzy's perspective on the posthumous appreciation of artists emphasizing his desire for recognition and respect while he's alive. He alludes to the phenomenon of artists gaining increased attention and praise after their death, emphasizing his ambition to be acknowledged and celebrated in the present. Moreover, his reference to the number six holds a dual meaning, representing both Toronto, nicknamed The Six, and the struggles he faces. The verse concludes with the potential role of his OVO crew members in telling his story. His self-deification as the Six God adds a layer to his desire for a unique and impactful legacy. In the chorus, he acknowledges the divine plan that he believes governs his life. This isn't the first time he has referenced a higher power guiding his path, as seen in previous tracks like Jungle and Sneakin. His mention of God's plan reflects his belief in a predetermined destiny, influenced by his upbringing. He implies that his success is part of this plan, highlighting his gratitude for his achievements. His lyrics also touch on his fluctuating emotions, noting that while he sometimes feels good, there are moments when he doesn't. This juxtaposition of feelings is characteristic of Drake's music, as he often explores a wide range of emotions in his songs. Additionally, he references his upbringing in Toronto by mentioning Weston Road, a street in the area where he grew up. This geographical reference adds a personal touch to the song, connecting it to his roots and experiences. The mention of going down a G.O.D. and going hard on Southside G may refer to his reflections on mortality and his dedication to his craft. The reference to Southside could allude to various meanings, including Memphis, Atlanta producer Southside, or the Scarborough neighborhood of Galloway. Similarly, Drizzy's commitment to ensuring the North Side eat may symbolize his support for his hometown of Toronto, as well as his efforts to provide for those around him. Overall, the chorus captures his complex emotions, his reflections on his journey, and his commitment to his roots and community. In the post-chorus, he reflects on the negativity and ill intentions directed towards him by his enemies. 
Despite their wishes for his downfall, he asserts that God's plan will prevail, thwarting their efforts to bring him down. The repetition of bad things emphasizes the magnitude of the negativity directed towards him, but he remains resilient in the face of adversity. The post-chorus serves as a reminder of the challenges he faces, but also highlights his faith in a higher power and his determination to overcome obstacles. In verse 2, his candid admission in God's plan resonates with universal sentiments about the irreplaceable comfort of home and the love for family. The inclusion of 50 Dub, commemorating his late friend, adds a poignant layer to the song, showcasing the impact of personal loss on his life and art. Expressing gratitude to his collaborators, Forty and Oliver North, Drizzy emphasizes the crucial role they've played in shaping his musical journey. The mention of the O2, transformed into the O3, reflects his significant influence and popularity, turning ordinary venues into iconic spaces. The connection to the Hells Angels, though controversial, underscores the complexity of his relationships and the diverse influences that contribute to his artistic identity. The O3 transformation, coupled with the shout-outs to Forty and Oliver North, illustrates how his impact extends beyond music, transforming spaces and fostering enduring partnerships. Moreover, the reference to his bed takes on a deeper meaning when considering the potential connection to his son Adonis, whose other name is Mahbed. The complexity of Drizzy's life, with its highs and lows, is beautifully encapsulated in these verses, providing listeners with a glimpse into the artist's genuine reflections and the multifaceted nature of his journey. The music video offers a powerful visual narrative that complements the song's themes of resilience and gratitude. Through spontaneous acts of generosity, Drizzy transforms the Miami community, spreading joy and hope to those in need. The introduction, featuring a man reflecting on the simplicity and beauty of life, sets the tone for the video's message. True happiness transcends material wealth. Drizzy's interactions with community members highlight the genuine connections he fosters, emphasizing his desire to uplift others and share in their joys. Rather than portraying himself as a distant figure of charity, he presents himself as a relatable and approachable individual, eager to connect with people on a personal level. The video's candid depiction of everyday life in Miami reinforces the notion that happiness can be found in the smallest moments and gestures of kindness. By showcasing the smiles and gratitude of those he helps, he celebrates the resilience and spirit of the community, affirming that despite life's challenges, there is always room for joy and generosity. Overall, the video serves as a heartwarming reminder of the power of compassion and the transformative impact of simple acts of kindness. Through his philanthropic efforts, Drake embodies the message of the song, spreading positivity and inspiring others to embrace the goodness in their own lives. Shout out to the talented team behind this creation. Produced by Cardo, Young Exclusive, Boy Wonder and Forty, and written by the producers alongside Drake and Brock Corsan, this track captures the essence of Drizzy's personal journey. Special thanks to mastering engineer Chris Athens for his contribution to the song's impeccable sound quality. The music video, a visual masterpiece, was brought to life by the creative talents of director Karina Evans and executive producers director X and Taj Critchlow. Video VFX artists Rich Shrek, Hardave Gruwal, and Adrian Winter added stunning visual effects while video editor Raj Ramnath crafted a seamless narrative. Additional production by Forty enhanced the video's impact, and video colorists Laura Noonan and Emily Buller brought vibrant hues to the screen. Behind the scenes, a dedicated team worked tirelessly to bring the music video to fruition. Video production coordinator Susan Marinello and production manager Liz Gonzalez ensured smooth operations, while production assistants Mike Versana, Ryan Otero, and others provided invaluable support. The video's stunning cinematography was captured by director of photography Jordan Oram and his team, including first assistant director Evrard Ev Salomon and digital imaging technician Danny Garcia. Special thanks to the studio personnel and recording engineers who contributed to the song's creation, including Ronald Munu, Robbie Meza, Noel Catastre, and more. Mixing engineer Noel Gadget Campbell and assistant recording engineers Quaz and Robbie Meza played integral roles in perfecting the song's audio. Together, this talented team brought God's plan to life, delivering a powerful and impactful musical experience that continues to resonate with audiences worldwide.
Thank you all for tuning in. Until next time, don't forget to like, follow, and share. Take care and keep chasing your dreams. God bless you and have an impactful day.